Today, whilst I'm tinkering with a few other things here in the Llama Lab, I thought I'd do a refresher and go through installing a through axle bike on the Kicker Snap Smart Trainer, specifically the Kicker Snap 17 here or the Snap 2, but it's the same deal for the Snap 1. The two things we'll need, actually three. First of all, we'll need a through axle bike, which I now have. We'll need the Kicker Snap and we'll need the adapter kit here from Wahoo. In the adapter kit comes three separate through axles because there's multiple standards. That's the best thing about standards. There's a number to choose from. So what I'll need out of these three is the medium thread here. So the 142 by 1.5 medium adapter with the square end on it. The other ones are a little thicker thread, thinner thread. And there's also another little adapter there if you've got a tapered end. So this is the one that I'm after for today. So we'll put the others aside. But the other thing that comes in the box is a modification to the trainer itself, which is the little end cap here, which goes right here to allow this through axle to sit on the trainer like that. Pretty simple stuff. Let's go through the installation. A quick close up of those three through axle adapters in the kit. So that's the fine one there. That's the coarse one there, which we can sell to our mates if they've got those kind of bikes, bonus. And here's what we'll be using today. So the medium thread, with the end cap. What we'll need for that is a small hex wrench and a larger hex wrench to install the through axle on the bike. Installing the end cap is as simple as undoing this key just here, sliding that out, putting this new one on here. Now screwing that grub screw down just far enough so that doesn't pull off, but it still allows to turn. Good to go. Trainer is sorted, ready to put the bike on. Next up, getting the through axle on the bike itself. Now, just a bit of a preparation thing that I do. I'll put a bit of grease on the thread itself just to make sure we're not grinding metal on metal as we install that. So just something I like to do to keep things nice and sweet. Oh, it's not sweet. Cool. Okay, once that's in tight enough by hand, just snug it down with the six mil hex key and away we go, we're on. And finally, the bike on the trainer itself, lining up the end cap on the other side and the through axle in here. And lining that up with that, locking the trainer down and we're in. So there we are, a quick overview of installing a through axle bike on the kicker snap. Once that's in place, I make sure the tire pressure is good, the tire is clean, we get the roller on with about two and a half turns, we turn it on and away we go. Now, one problem I do have here though is this is the only through axle rear wheel that I have. Ideally, I'd like a training wheel that I could install a training tire on for some longer indoor sessions on my wheel on trainer. That's project number probably 2.5 on this new bike trying to find an old school through axle, if there's such a thing, put it into a, uh, into a wheel, put a trainer tire on, and away I go. Something a bit like this, which raises another question. How does the kicker snap go with these weights on from the Halcyon? Hmm, sounds like a Llama lab test for me. Alrighty, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.